Hi there, my name's Paul. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today behind me I've got the Renault Traffic Sportive. I'm going to take you on a quick walk around, show you some of the features that this fantastic van has got that can benefit you and your business. So, let's have a look around. Okay, so this is the Renault Traffic Sportive L1H1 panel van. Lots and lots of extra features because it's the sportive. First thing I'm going to point out that it's 21 plate vehicles. So with that, you have got the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty. From the date the vehicle was first registered, that's a three-year warranty up to 100,000 miles. Also, as with any used vehicle, we've put this vehicle through a 128-point AA inspection. Having passed that inspection, the vehicle does come with an additional three months AA warranty. However, you can upgrade this warranty to one, two, or three years at your discretion. Just to break that down a little bit, a three-year extended warranty we've reduced down to 599. So if you're taking this over a five-year finance deal, that would work out to around 10 pounds per month. That's basically what I would use to insure my mobile phone and is extraordinary value for money. Aside from that, you're also going to get one year's AA roadside assistance. That's good for one call out in the year. Again, you can upgrade this as well to unlimited call outs, merely for an additional one pound per month. Uh, again, that's another extraordinary saving as well. Aside from that, looking around the vehicle, you're going to see the bodywork is absolutely lovely. We protect that bodywork on every one of our vehicles by applying a triple layer Gardex treatment. That helps to give protection against any negative effects of UV from sunlight, acidity and rainwater, anything at all that's going to cause premature aging, dimming or deterioration to this lovely finish. Now looking around you can see you've got the fog lights there, they're going to give you increased visibility if you're driving in diminished visibility conditions. You've got the LED daytime running lights there, you've got those lovely Renault alloy wheels. Just moving around to the back of the vehicle. As you can see on the back bumper there, you've got the parking sensors with this vehicle. You've also got the uh, deadlocks there, sorry, slime locks with this vehicle. And they've got the security bezels on them as well. Sliding door just there on the near side of the vehicle. Got one of those security locks on there as well. Fuel filler, as you can see there as well, is just between the passenger door and that sliding door on the near side. So loads and loads on the outside there. Let's have a look inside the back of the vehicle first. Okay, so looking in the rear storage area first of all, at the front through the sliding door, as you can see, you've got that really nice secure lock box there that's bolted down nice and secure in place. So if you do have any tools or anything to be left in the back of the vehicle, you've got somewhere nice and safe and secure to keep them. Just moving around to the back now. So, dimensions in the back, first of all. So across the width between the wheel arches there, 124 centimeters, 137 from the floor to the bottom of the ribs on the ceiling. And then from the storage box there, all the way to the back along the floor, as you can see, you've got 170 centimeters of usable storage space. Looking in the back, you can see the back of the vehicle has been ply lined as well. So you do have a nice bit of reassurance there, some safety that if the vehicle does have something that falls over in the back, the vehicle itself is going to be nicely looked after. You've also got lots of little tie down points there. So if you need anything tied down for stability or safety, it's going to be very, very easy for you to do so. You've also got lights in the back, so if you are working in low light, that's gonna make that job nice and easy for you as well. Just looking at your doors, as you can see, they open out to 90 degrees. If you do need them further though, let's say someone's parked close behind or for any other reason, just gonna pull out this lever here, that's gonna undo that door check strap there, and that's gonna allow the doors to open out to nearly 180 degrees, giving you maximum access to the back area of this vehicle. So loads and loads in the back. Let's jump in the cab and have a look in there. Okay, so moving in on the driver's side, storage in the driver's door, as you can see, electronically controlled windows and wing mirrors there. Seats are all in lovely condition, nice and clean. Two adjustable headrests there for added convenience. Pull down armrest as well for the driver's convenience. And you've also got some storage space there 
underneath the passenger seats as well. Just stepping up now into the driver's seat. So foot on the brake pedal. And as you see, the vehicle starts nice and easy first time, which is perfect. No warning lights on that dash display as well, which is also lovely to see. Moving backwards, looking at your steering wheel, you've got voice controls there. You've got options for uh, the speed limiter for the cruise control. Looking at your wiper controls, you've got automatic uh, wipers and you've also got automatic headlights included with this vehicle as well. To the lower right behind the steering wheel, you've got the remote there for the media system. Moving across, you can see there this is an automatic vehicle as well with a semi-manual mode. So to use that, we're going to come down into drive, tap the stick over to the right, and then you can go up and down the gears like so. Just putting that back into park now. Just moving up to the dash again. So just next to the digital speedo there, you've also got the visual indicator there and that will show you exactly what gear you're in looking in the center just by the gear stick you've got an eco mode there just next to the gear stick on the other side you've got a cup holder you've got an additional cup holder at each extreme of the dash storage along there as well for you Underneath the media system, you've got the climate controls. As you can see, you've got aircon as well included here. You've also got the automatic stop start with this vehicle. Moving upwards to the media system itself, as you can see, you do have the sat nav built in with this device. You've also got the radio options. You've got DAB radio included, as you can see, as well as having your normal AM and FM bands as well. You can stream audio as well from a USB connected device. If you do connect a phone via Bluetooth, you've also got the options there for media streaming as well as for hands-free calling. Let's just have a quick look in the settings there. So as you can see, lots and lots of options in there for you to go through as well. Okay. So thank you very much for taking the time to have a look around the L1 H1 Renault Traffic Sportive with me. I'm sure you'd agree this is really a fantastic vehicle. It's got loads and loads of features there that can benefit you and your business. So if there's anything further we can do to be of assistance or discuss jumping on one of our fantastic finance deals, please feel free to let me know. It'd be a pleasure to look after you however possible. Aside from that, if you can hit that five-star review button for me, that would be greatly appreciated on my part. Once again, thank you very much for your time today. Have a lovely day ahead, and we'll look forward to speaking to you real soon. Bye now.